Hey everybody, Jeff Lee here with Able City New York. We are here at Creatosphere 2011 in the beautiful New Yorker Hotel. I'm at the Light Panels booth with the President and CEO, Pat Grosswinth. How's it going today? It's going good. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just correct you. I'm not the CEO or President. I'm actually one of the founding partners, but I'm acting as a product specialist. So that's why we're here today to show off some of the new products you found so interesting. Perfect. So what I have in my hand here is the new Chroma. Uh, nice little portable light. As you can tell, dual color temperature. So what we have is we have, uh, without blinding your viewers, uh, maybe I'll just point it at your chest, but the ability to go from uh, full intensity daylight to tungsten. So it's truly a bi-color that everyone's familiar with in our one by one product uh, to the micro uh, light on camera level. So it's, it's gotten a lot of interest. Uh, Chrome will be out um, shipping in about a month. Uh, it's going to be uh, uh, around the $600 price range and we've got a lot of interest from a lot of people. Excellent. I understand it's a very low power draw, I believe uh, 7 watts, is yeah, that accurate? 7 watts, uh, putting out equivalent to 45 watts output. So the thing that's really nice about it is because of the fact if you're running it at a, at a mix uh, between tungsten and daylight, you're looking at a larger pattern of light being emitted, so you're actually getting a wider path. So a two-person interview with this on the camera is really taken care of. Even someone where we're in two different height ranges, we're still getting covered by one unit. So it's, it's a nice quality of light. And again, it's designed with all the wonderful quality components that people have come to understand Light Panels always provides. And you did mention the Helio, which is, this is the first time it's here in the United States. What we have is DMX control via CAT5 or CAT6 wire. And for people that are running DMX with uh, XLR system, we have adapters available that they can use to inter intermix with their existing runs, if that's the case. Onboard dimmer, fully dimmable with no color shift. Um, and we're also uh, using 72 one watt LED. So we're looking at about the same consumption and power as a 100 watt light bulb. You know, people are familiar with the one by ones being about 45 watts of power for four to 600 watts output, depending on the lens choice. In our Sola 6 series that you already know about, that's 100 watts at full output. So again, it's something that's very versatile for low power situations where you don't have it or air conditioning where you need a lot of light but you don't have the power to cool it or run it. So another option available. And what we have is with this lensing, as you can see, We've, we set them up in a, in a perfect array, 10 degree beams uh, with very nice lenses out of Belgium that allow that light to get to the point that you need it with a nice overall uniform flow. This is the Sola 4. It's a Fresnel unit. It's basically a four inch Fresnel that's designed very similar to the Sola 6. Single source, so single shadow. Controllable, you have a dimmer which controls your output of the light and you have your um, encoder here which runs actually a stepper motor and that's your focusing. So the beauty of this product with the DMX capability, you can have this plugged in out of reach and actually use your dimmer control on your dimmer board to focus the light from a flood to a spot and on the other channel next to it, you use it for controlling the light output. So as you can tell from the weight, it's nice and lightweight. It's not producing a lot of heat. Uh, we have our power supply underneath which takes standard AC that comes with the unit. But we've also made uh, use of the XLR four pin connector. So if you want to run it off of batteries in the field, you can do that as well. Perfect. I think that's it. When do you think any of these things will start to become uh, available? You can go to any of your light panels dealers and put your orders in now. The products are available on our website to look at, get information on. Uh, the demo products are going out to the dealers that like to have demonstration products on hand and you'll be able to view it. Uh, ask questions and they're taking orders uh, starting today. Fantastic. We'll actually probably have some of these starting next week in the ABLE New York and Los Angeles showroom. So if you want to check it out, please feel free to stop on by. And I am here now with the Sony PDW TD300. It is a 3D camera, fixed lens, uh, actually uses a half inch sensor similar to the PMW320. Uh, interesting bit here, it's got four SBIS slots. Uh, it does record an XD Cam EX, so tried and true, uh, a favorite codec of ours. Uh, but having four slots means you can have uh, you know left and right individually, and when those fill up, they'll bounce to the second card, which is pretty handy. Or well, if you're recording in 2D, you'll have basically four slots, basically uninterrupted recording for uh, all day, basically. Um, 
It's pretty interesting. This viewfinder is actually lenticular if you want. So if you're standing back, if you're at the right angle, you could actually see the 3D effect. But of course, there is different modes. In the viewfinder, you hit this little button here. So you have left only, left and right convergence, uh, or difference, which is what this view is here. You also have your nice controls here. You have zoom, focus, and then convergence is this little dial here. Uh, because it is XDCAM EX based, uh, much like the 320, uh, this will have under and over cranking, slow and quick motion. So in 3D, which is pretty unique. It's actually the only shoulder mounted camera uh, that has that feature. I'm here uh, with Sarif Sadek from uh, Assimilate, showing off the new DIT station, which is, they've partnered up with Assimilate to feature Scratch 6 uh, on this little station, workstation here. So I'm going to have Sarif go over a little bit of some of the features of this pretty cool looking DIT station. Take it away. Hi, thanks Jeff. Um, okay, so basically what we have here is a DIT station as the name of the company implies. Um, this is a sort of a red centric rig, but it can be customized to do whatever card reader that you want, whether it's the Alexa or the P2 or XT cam or whatever. Um, what you have here is a data manager and a playback station. There is a small network attached storage underneath this laptop here. So what you do is you bring your card, you plug it into the reader, use this computer to transfer the media from the card onto the NAS. Once the media is transferred to the NAS, you can open it up in Scratch Lab, do the audio syncing, and uh, do primary color grading, and deliver multiple uh, outputs at the same time. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, you have a couple of uh, neat little gadgets here, like lights. You can turn a fan on and off for a silent mode. In the back, you have an HDMI, uh, Firewire 800, SDI, and DVI outputs uh, out of the station. This whole thing collapses. It has wheels. You pull it in pull it out and yeah the cup holder is very important for DIT work um, and uh, that's about it there's also headphones here so when you're doing your audio syncing you can hear what's going on um, that's uh, that's pretty much it it's it's really straightforward and that's what I really like about it and that's why Assimilate partnered up with DIT station in order to kind of take advantage of the simplified uh, form factor uh, solution that is it for us here at the 2011 Creative Sphere. Uh, we'll see you next time.